Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing great. Welcome to any newbies. Really appreciate every single one of you. I want to give a shout out to the people that have been um, tipping, using the tipping jar. Um, I really appreciate every one of you that's uh, tipped. Love you all. Thank you. So today is going to be um, an energy check-in for you guys. Let's see what's going on with you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't force anything. Um, and don't forget these are energies, so you can be a male and embody the Queen of Swords and vice versa. So let's get started. All right, spirit, angels, ancestors. What's the overall energy of the collective for today? How is my collective today? How is the collective today? How are they feeling? Cocaine, opioids, opioids, heroin and meth. Some of you could be overdoing it with the, hmm, I want to just say recreational drugs. Um, so you could just be partying too hard at the moment, overdoing it. How's the overall energy on the collective today? I'm intimidated by you. They hate you and it's jealousy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those three cards as a guideline guide. So I'm gonna confirm each card. Okay, so it's like pick a pile, but it's not a pick a pile. Um, so let's have a look at this. So some, you, cause it's your overall energy. So it could be you guys, for some of you, you're intimidated by someone. Someone can be quite intimidating. Um, or vice versa, you can swap it around. Um, they hate you and it's jealousy. This is someone that you know that shows a lot of hate towards you guys, but you need to know that it is just jealousy. Well, I mean, most of the time it is bloody jealousy, isn't it? So let's have a look at... Um, so I'm getting confused with my bloody cards here. <laughs> Uh, right, let's have a look at cocaine opioid. Oh, don't even say anything. First card out, nine of wands, three of pentacles. Back of the deck, the hermit. So the cocaine opioids, like I said, it could be some of you are overdoing it, partying too much, maybe taking too many, you know, fun stuff. Um, and you feel like, some for some of you, you feel like you're being attacked by people because of this, this, Use, usage of this stuff. I don't want to say it too much on YouTube, you know, because I don't want to get flagged or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to say stuff, okay? But you're standing your ground here. For some of you, it's like you're making an excuse. And I'm very honest, guys, and it's nothing against you, but this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm picking up. You feel very defensive when someone tries to approach you to talk to you regarding the stuff you get very defensive. You're feeling quite wounded at the moment. You feel like you've got a lot of people in your ear, nagging maybe. Um, so you, I don't wanna say it, but I'm gonna say it. You act, you're acting like the victim, but what you maybe you're not realizing, guys, is that, you know, this fun stuff that you're taking could be affecting the people around you. I mean, I don't think you're stupid. I think you do actually realize that what you're doing, but you don't want to accept it. You're standing your ground on this matter. I think you're telling people that you're, it's not that out of control and you're being very firm about it. You, you, you believe this to be true. Um, the Three of Pentacles, it's a collaboration. So this is people that are working together, talking together. I mean, it could be that, I don't see this as you working with them. I think this is a group of people like a, this, what is that word where you, an, an inter, intervention and, oh, if you know what it is in the comment down below, please tell me, because I'm having a brain fart. Um, so it's where a group of people get together and approach you to maybe like, sit down and talk to you about how it's getting out of hand because they're worried about you. 
it's nothing to do with you as a person, but it's, it's coming from love. So you've got people talking about this at the moment and they're coming up with an idea to approach and talk to you. Um, you're in the hermit mode at the moment, guys. Um, you're isolating yourself at the moment. You're not really socialising with anyone. I think it's all about the fun stuff at the moment for you. So you've, you've locked yourself away from the outside world, from friends, from family, you know, from loved ones. So you've become quite a bit of a hermit. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Today. Cards are really hard to shuffle, it's like they stick together, but I absolutely love them. The, the, the design, the art on them are beautiful. All right, here we go. The wheel, ten of swords. Right, so spirit is saying for you guys that are taking the fun stuff, I want to, I'm clarifying the three of pentacles. Like I said, it's people that are coming forward to wanting to, to intervene and you know maybe give you an ultimatum they see that your luck at the moment has literally hit rock bottom for some of you your lucky your your luck is just not not there at the moment um but it's also the divine saying that you you know you're going to receive you you will end up receiving bad karma because this is a karmic wheel as well that this is a lesson that you've got to learn for yourself this is something that you've got to maybe get out of yourself um and it could be something that that's happened in your previous lives that is my well, light just dim there thank you spirit so i'll take that as clarification from my spirit guides i sound like a right loon but you know <laughs> um so yes yeah, spirit is saying that there's some kind of karma here that you you got to deal with something from the from your previous lives that you've brought into this life that's got to be dealt with and it's to do with fun stuff going down the wrong road um you and the ten of swords when these when these guys come forward to talk to you um to intervene you're going to see it as an ultimate betrayal you're going to feel really attacked by these people but it's coming out of a place of love you've got the ace of cups here that it's coming out of a place of love. It's not coming out of a place of hate or judgment or anything like that. It's coming from love. Um, yeah, look, judgment. They're calling judgment on this situation. They are going to step in and they are going to. I think they're going to be quite firm with you. They want this to stop, and you have the you have the willpower to end this and this is saying the world is saying that it will come to an end and i do feel that for some of you you will end up stopping this and starting anew starting fresh so that's that guys let's have a look at i'm intimidated by you what's going on here for some of you guys clarify i'm intimidated by you back of the deck the nine of pentacles oh so I feel that this person could be intimidated by you um, or like I said, you could be intimidated by them. But I feel like this is someone is actually intimidated by you. And I feel it's because you are in the Nine of Pentacles. You're young, free, single. You know, some of you don't have to be young, but young in spirit. Um, you know, you're you're doing well. You're loving life. You're feeling good. You're your business is going good for some of you could have your own business your finances are really really good at the moment um the chariot we have the chariot we have the empress we have the sun wow and the lovers holy moly Right, I'm seeing these two cards together now from these cards here. It's jealousy and they hate you and they're intimidated by you because you're in this energy. But the thing is here, guys, I'm seeing... For, this, is a, this is you guys single. 
So, you know, take what resonates. You may have just started talking to someone or whatever, but the majority of you, you are single at the moment. And the reason why there's so much jealousy here, because you're doing so well, you're so confident within yourselves, that there's so much jealousy here and envy. I'm picking up envy. Something is coming towards you guys here, coming quite quickly towards you. The chariot is, for, the chariot is forward movement. It's also travel. So it could be that you're going to be traveling somewhere, um, you know, or this is going to be happening quite quickly. You are the Empress, so don't forget you came in male when in body the Empress is, is the Divine Feminine, we all have feminine and masculine in us. Um, this is someone that's been through a lot of hardships, have had to work really hard for what they have. You are still very humble, you're still very kind, you haven't let life affected you uh, like affect you in you know how some people get affected they become quite bitter you're not bitter you're not angry you are still very humble um and you have a genuine heart and i think because of this this is like a gift this is like you know i think you've i think you've paid all your karma from what i'm picking up here as well it's like this is this is like due due to come towards you um you're entering a stage of absolute happiness and abundance and security, financial stability, love, commitment, children, because the Empress is also a mother or, you know, father, um, starting a family. What you have here is lovers. You have new love. For some of you, like I said, you could have already started seeing someone or started talking to someone. Um... But yeah, there's love here. You have a choice here. Someone is coming forward. This is Gemini as well. The sun is... Um, what is sun? I think it's... Is it, what is sun? I don't know. Sorry, don't know that star sign. <laughs> um, is it Leo? Oh, I don't know. It's pissing me off. Anyways, so yeah, you've got new love arriving or a start of a, a commitment with someone and whoever's around you at the moment, they're very jealous of, of you as a whole, as a person. Um, there's, I'm just picking up envy. Where's my cards? <laughs> Alright, let's clarify the lovers. Let's be nosy. Clarify the lovers. You know, I'm just picking up that you've got everything that this person wants. But, you know, if you're not a nice person, you're not really going to get what you want, are you? I'm just picking up not nice energy from those two cards there. I mean, this could be a friend, this could be a relative, it could even be a sibling. No, too many spirit, you're taking the meat. Come on. Clarify the lovers. I mean, I'm also seeing that you could meet, because this is, like I said, forward movement. This is something happening, like, is moving towards love. And we've got the sun card here, which can mean summer as well. I mean, here in the UK, we are in summer. I don't know where half of you guys are, so this could happen in the summer for you. And that's what I'm picking up as well. So... You know, if you're in winter, wherever you are, I'm just picking up this is going to happen in, in the summer. So just be wary of this energy here. Oh, lovely. I love it. The Ace of Cups. This is the divine giving you a second chance at love. It's also a, a, it's a sincere, genuine love as well. It's two people come together and falling in love. Wow, this is lovely. I'm loving this. And the Four of Pentacles, you're not going to want to let this relationship go. You're going to be very possessive, not as in possessive over the person. You're going to be quite possessive of your relationship. You're going to be very careful of who comes comes to your comes into your inner circle. Because I think You've had quite a lot of this in your life, jealousy. So just be careful with the people around. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups. 
Oh, this is lovely. I'm loving this. Oh, one look at this. Wow. I love getting a good reading for you guys. <sighs> so, Six of Pentacles is an equal, equal give and take relationship commitment. So, you're both going to be very, it's going to be equal with the pair of you. So, you know, it's not going to be one side, is it's not one going to be taking more from the other and the other not really giving anything back. No, this is equal. This is both of you, two people. I, I do feel this is like a soulmate connection for both of you. Um, you've got the Ten of Cups happily ever after. This is, like I said, a commitment, marriage, um, moving in together, starting a home life together, maybe having children. I do feel like children are going to come from this because, like I said, the Empress and the Sun is also children as well. The Empress is a mother. I mean, for some of you, could be pregnant right now. The Eight of Pentacles. You're both going to work really hard in keeping this relationship going. You're going to know what's important to both of you. You both see each other as a dream come true, that all your wishes were answered. This is a, answered. This is Aquarius as well. Um... And this is a manifestation card as well. I do feel like you both, you both manifested each other. Oh, this is a lovely reading, guys. I'm really happy about this. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to take it any further, guys, because I'm really happy with this. Um, I hope you're happy too. You take care and you have a lovely Sunday. And I'll see you soon. Bye.